Hello, Brands Pickles here. Today we are here with a Minecraft server plugin showcase, and today's plugin we are doing is Custom Heads. Custom Heads is basically a plugin that allows you to spawn in heads, but they are basically to decorate your spawn, your walls, just basically decorate. It's basically a decoration block. Uh, so if we just type in the command what's on this board, which is for us as heads, and you can see here we've got a category of heads, and then you can have got my collection, my head, and then there's more heads, and you, when you hover over it, you can see that there's the permission. So heads dot view category food, um, and then if we click on that, it let, it will just generate all the foods, and then there's a Fanta bottle. Nutella, there's a grapes, there's oranges, there's tomatoes, there's beer, and then you can just shift right click to apply to helmet. So you can literally have one of these as your helmet. So we're going to have none of them for our helmets. We're going to get a uh, character. Let's look at the characters. So there's a bunch of them. There's so many here you can see. So there's got the Master Chief from Halo, SpongeBob, Patrick. Uh, or um, Freddy, what the game's called, Five Nights at Freddy. Uh, you got Jay, you got Peach, you got Mario there, you got Ash from Pokemon, and Donald Duck. And if we go back, and you can see there's emojis, there's games. So if we go to games, this is going to load. There we go. You got a Rubik's Cube, you got Dragon Ball Z balls. Uh, you got so many. Uh, so we can have this. There we go. It's on my head, and we're gonna get choose one to decorate this. Uh, so you got your wood, your stone, and numbers. So we want wood. So we want B. Oh, I'm just gonna do bran. Let's uh, if we do. Bran brands so now we can literally just do put these down somewhere so actually I'm gonna put it in front of this guy B R A N D S brands <laughs> love it and then you've got this one on my head as well it's the core look at that so yeah that's basically it so there's there is another command as well so for all slash heads help and this will give you another GUI so you got your remove you got your add you got your fireworks you got reload the plugin you got categories so you can remove category you can show the history so what a uh, player is basically um, is spawned in you got your search you got your write you got your uh, undo you got your fonts you got your get, so you can actually spawn in a player head. So if I do forward slash, I can get, in fact, you can actually do this. You can click that, and then you can click that, and then you can just remove that. And let's say, I don't know, let's spawn in one of my friends. And you can see there, we've got a head of my friend. So let's break that. Uh, so you literally can use this... Um, use this to make a shop uh, because this is getting updated with the economy and everything now which is very cool the uh, the developer of this plugin is stone gamer and he is a very awesome guy and he basically um, is a nice guy to communicate with so if we go over to the spigot page uh, you can see here it's been on pause for a while because he's been busy uh, but he's awesome to talk to on um, Discord, so he's always basically contacting with his community. Um, so you got your 12 pre-made categories. Uh, you can also make your own categories, which I'll just quickly show you. Then you got your screenshots, and then you've got any issues. You can literally go in the discussion area, or you go to his GitHub page. But don't leave uh, reports in the reviews. And then you've got your text version, and then you've got some videos which are none of them are in English. 
Uh, then you've got your what's new, so fix, categories, head issues, search, inventory, language fix, and added is an auto downloader for language, which is pretty damn awesome. Uh, and if we go straight to the top, and you can see he's currently updating it to 1.13, which is awesome. So if we just go to our area and go to the actual file location, and you can see here you've got your loaded categories so you've got your Pokemon, mobs, misks all of them what we said before so if we go back and if we go to heads and you can see here main menu uh, max undo history 6 so it doesn't do a big massive file like data in your name and then you've got your history as a temp, you've got all these C own all these literally you don't really need to edit the config file there then you've got your uh, language file so you've got your categories here which if we go to alphabet you can see here that you've got your skull item your damage you've got your alphabet and then basically these are category names so you can see here that's wood and then this will show you every single one what's wood and then stone category which is every single stone with a texture um, ID number and then you've got your numbers again textures and etc um, but yeah that's basically it about custom heads if you want me to show you how to actually add your own category just remember to comment down below um, but yeah, if you want a plugin showcase for your plugin, and basically you need a video, just basically hook me up in the description or go to the Discord, which is in the description. And there is a police car going by. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and peace.